The igneous and metamorphic rocks are about 1.7 billion years old. The sedimentary rock is about half a billion years old, about 500 million years old. So the surface between the sedimentary layers and the underlying igneous and metamorphic rock is referred to as an unconformity. In particular, it's called the Great Unconformity because it represents about 1.2 billion years of missing time between the time that the, the granite and the schist were first formed deep in the crust, then brought up to the surface through uplift and exposed by erosion before the sea could flood over the surface and deposit the peat sandstone on top of it. Now the interesting thing about an unconformity like that is if you think about it, igneous and metamorphic rocks form in very, very different environments than sedimentary rocks. So there's no geologically reasonable way that the sedimentary rock could have formed at the same time as the igneous and metamorphic rocks underneath it. They must have formed much, much earlier, in fact 1.2 billion years earlier, deeper in the crust under very different conditions of temperature and pressure. Then, again, uplift lifted this entire region, the Colorado Plateau, and shield, sheared it off, erosion sheared it off the top of the rocks and then sedimentary deposition on top and placed the tapete sandstone. So igneous and metamorphic rocks at depth and sandstone, a sedimentary rock deposited on top.